All right. So you might have some possible candidates here. Hmm. I can't imagine this combo being good, but I'm guessing maybe. Yeah, I literally don't know. I'm kind of curious about that one, but that looks one supposedly easy. This makes a little more sense, though. I, I really don't find it a great combo, but. I feel like Primordium typically can pop off a bit more than a Sentient plus Planks. I guess we can try this one. People are getting 79k, 75k on it. I mean, I doubt I would, unless I really try to do that. You know, try to go for high score, but... Maybe it just starts right off the bat with, like, Ember Drain or something? I don't know. Curious. Could go explosive. I think if I saw Umbra Umbra, I would go explosive, but since it's a work and a work, I'll go cultivating. I guess this. Plink should be good here. Sap or Resto Deto? Deto might be better, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think it clears more damage out. I highly suspect that Perils is the only thing that could be getting crazy high scores here. I mean, I guess there's always Overgorger or something like that. Now, what would I normally do here? I mean, I would probably not Hellvent in most cases, so this magic is hittable. I would not take this magic unless... I don't know. I probably just wouldn't take that magic, the first one. But the second one I take, most likely. That one I can take. That one I can take. I mean, the magics are really good, so I would say Perils is probably pretty good here. Okay, Husk. So we absolutely go to the right here. Multi is great. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know. You still can't get super high scores as a singer, but I would have to imagine we take the steel singer. We get 
it multi-strike. And we just get rid of Huskerman. I mean, I may as well do that right now, honestly. Just, I want every little bit of stuff for Steel Singer. How many steals are we hitting then? Like zero? <laughs> Pretty much zero, so I think we could re-roll here for quick, I guess. Alright, well, wasted gold, but I thought it was probably worth a shot. This is fine though. I guess a wild would sap's okay. I don't know that it's actually that needed here. This is probably a skip. Unless I think mine collapse. I don't think so though. Here we go, get the glimmers. So we don't want to hellvent the steel singer yet. Probably probably just go with the final hellvent, or we could go with the final two hellvents there. Would be my guess. Holdovers and stuff would be better. Animus of Will, Essence. Right, those could both go on Glimmers. Don't even think I would double stack here. So we could go 10 and Pierce on one of these. That could be times five, I guess. If that's the thing. I think that works. Ooh, okay. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> Hold up. I could hold this over at 30 and then actually hellventing a ton of these uh, I could also just hold it over at zero cost just simply to get the uh, I don't know though probably putting 30 on it is better right alright well this is definitely turning into some shenanigans here.
guess we could have put sentient on the same floor, technically. I kind of suspect the rail spec is not actually that good here. Hmm. Could take it though. Maybe there's like some infinite with it. Yeah, I mean... Could technically go Shadow Eater into a uh, thing. I actually think I will. At this point, there's nothing better I can get. Yeah, we'll get it extra damage and stuff. Firebox, good. Uh, we could minus two that, I think. Purge one of these. I mean, we may as well go super hard on shards here. about the gold either. Just get every little bit of attack we can. With the glimmer we could be fine to do um, actually a... yeah, we'll do a triple hell event. Or a double hell event. sense to play the uh, log and sap yet. Potentially want an ensnare. Void binding. I don't think we're doing any ember drain stuff. I mean, there are still um, things coming up, but.
to think so. Alright, well. I could hold that over. I don't know that it helps me. I'm, I'm pre pretty sure it doesn't. Hold over. I could hold over Smell Chain it. Funny thing is, though, honestly, at this point, a holdover spell chain with a void binding, probably with a multi striking husk, would be better. You could do that. We could just hold that over. Honestly, Pierce. I don't think we need that. I think spell cheat there is fine. I suppose I could be getting higher scores if I went bottom floor, but... I think... Probably if I want to get a super early kill... Late game... I want as many stats as possible. Could start with this intrinsic prism retrieval. Since I have the uh, firebox. Another holdover. Hmm. Volatile gauge. I don't think so. First lines, I guess. I don't know. Still don't think I'm taking the holdover barrels. Just do a holdover restore, I guess. Damn. 
Should have skipped actually. I didn't realize it was bad on money there. I could probably toss a wild with sap onto the uh, sentient, honestly. I'm never going to use all of this uh, regen or whatever. keeps her at max health anyhow. We gotta get rid of this perils. It's a blessed seed when hold of your spirit spell chained uh, perils wasn't good enough to make your cut. I'm literally holding over restores over it like twice in a row. start hell venting these dudes. Just realized that I basically never ate any morsels when I did the Shadow Eater infusion. Oops. Well, to be fair, I wasn't really... I mean, I was offered that artifact that would have given me an ar a morsel every turn, so I definitely dropped the ball there. But what, do you, what can you do? Pyrewall, I guess. enough attack to be hell vented. Uh, what do we not need? Probably don't need ensnare. Probably don't need wildwoods. Well, wildwoods have still fine. I can put that on like the other steel singer. I mean, we don't need the surge stone plank. Oh, we don't need perils, right? <clears throat> I think sentient still can go on the floor. I'll have enough room. have been spreading the restore around. Probably be a better idea. Make 
sure to do that moving forward. So you get one, you get one, you can have that one, play that. Could have maybe take edge prior, but nah. I still don't think I'll be getting like a 70k score. Let's see though. <clears throat> Sap tent could be good. Okay. Intrinsic like that or that. I think this is not as good as this. We want to get the uh, the dudes out ASAP. shards. It's fine. <clears throat> so we can still fit everybody on one floor. That's a good one.
think we're going to get that out of score, honestly. Doesn't look like we're even going to get a flying kill. to flying kill. We might manage to get the lowest score here. I'm pretty adamant that I think uh, I think Husk would have been better in this seed. I'll be curious to see. I mean, with Intrinsic and Firebox, you could definitely get some good turn ones, but I, I'd be curious to see what is getting such high scores here. I suppose another route is you could have gone husk along with them. I don't know. Maybe that would work. With the glimmers, though, I don't know. Well, we happen to draw all three here, so so much for the uh, intrinsic space prism. Could it be any worse? We literally draw, draw into that. And then all three are drawn into the other. Okay, whatever. That's how you want to do me, game. That's how you want to do me. Might get a flying kill here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sixty-six. Nothing special. I don't, I don't know that I could have gotten that much more score by just doing a bunch of bottom floors. Maybe on Seraph I could have bumped it closer to 70, but definitely not like high 70s. So let's see. Only one of these. It didn't have much more attack than mine had. Hmm. Explosive sentient. So weird to go explosive sentient there, I feel, but... Um, had two of those with consumer move. We never really were able to walk. We, we were, we should have had consumer move on it, but we took a pointless artifact instead. They did do the holdover perils. They had just glimmer. Wow, what a thin deck. <clears throat> I guess you can, with the perils, you can more or less go infinite here then with this on consumer move. You know, it'll always draw a card, but then if you draw in the perils 
And if you're starting with this, yeah, I guess you just get infinites at the end there. So they made up all the points right at the end there. Uh, it's a line I didn't really consider. Perils plus... I, I don't think I've ever done a perils and a Woken Rail Spike infinite, but that is one that is definitely possible. Yeah, it looks like the top two scores definitely just do that then. Like I said, though, I really didn't need Steel Seer on this run. This one, this uh, husk did just fine. But I have to imagine it's also just, yeah, infinite pretty much. Uh, they didn't get the infinite, actually. Uh, or at least they didn't get it as soon as this other player, probably because they just had a bigger deck. And there's me, who went the Steel Singers. Yeah, the Steel Singers. Well, this is a pretty blessed seed. <laughs> yeah, most people are going Steel Singers. Makes sense. Okay, I don't know what this guy is doing. In this seed, which had husks and... And, uh, Steel Singers offered, he goes, an Animus of Speed with a Train Steward Infusion and a Giant Stone. Has a Crucible Warden and Shattered Shell. Yikes. That is some stuff. Animus of Speed. At least they had a hold over Perils. I don't know why people are going Animus of Speed. Allied Construct as well. You're going Umbra? That first thing? Doesn't make much sense. Maybe they were thinking that there was a Shadow Eater or something. Oh well, I mean, that was a fun one. Definitely an easy one. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.